So hello everyone, welcome to Placement Buddies. So today we have Samrit Shorya with us. He is placed in uh, Tradens. So he will share his interview experience of Tradens. So hello Samrit, welcome to Placement Buddies. Hello, thank you for having me here. Yeah, so could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, so uh, my name is Samrit Shorya and I have graduated in Mechanical Engineering from NIT Agartala in the year 2023. And uh, I'm currently working as a data scientist at Tradens, and it's been around one year in the company. Okay. So uh, when Tradens came to your campus and what was the eligibility criteria? Okay. So uh, the company visited our campus around in the month of uh, September. Uh, like we had our pre-placement session in September, then uh, around in First week of October, we had our OA and then interviews in uh, December first week or sec uh, first to second week. Okay. So what were the rounds yeah. like uh, online assessment and technical rounds? What were the rounds? Yeah. So uh, there were three rounds. Okay. Uh, uh, there, was, there was OA first round. Then uh, we had uh, two uh, technical rounds mm -hmm. and there were no HR rounds. And uh, maybe before that, I think there was a uh, resume shortlisting as well. Okay. So since you mentioned about the resume shortlisting, can you please tell us about the importance of resume? Like what uh, uh, question did they ask from the resume or did they ask any question outside from the resume also? Uh, yeah. So uh, in the uh, interviews, like the in, first of all, the interv interviews were pretty good like of medium difficulty only mm -hmm. so <clears throat> so uh, in interviews uh, there was no puzzles or guesstimates that was uh, asked to me specifically but there was another candidate a friend of mine he was being asked about the guesstimates and puzzles and according technical questions according to the resume so uh, yeah uh, then then they asked me technical questions uh, uh, all, on almost every skill that i mentioned in my resume if not all of them then uh, they asked about my projects and uh, some uh, questions for like of, on hands on like for sql and uh, uh, python python basic coding que coding questions and uh, uh, basic uh, python frameworks like pandas uh, numpy like for the uh, data anal analysis and data science part so yeah so okay. then uh, uh, yeah, yeah that was okay okay so uh, what was the like um the interview process starting from the online assessment to, to the technical round, what uh, question did they ask and what type of uh, like uh, interview process it was? Okay, so uh, in a way, there were MCQ based questions, mm -hmm. uh, MCQ questions on aptitude, uh, then some technical questions on uh, skill things like SQL, DBMS, uh, Python, and maybe a bit of machine learning as well. Mm -hmm. and some data pre-processing type questions mm -hmm. and uh, uh, five coding coding questions like uh, two from uh, two were from python and three were from sql and the level of questions was quite medium or intermediate you can say and yeah so uh, uh, from the five coding questions uh, were they pseudo codes or like full coding questions yeah they were full coding questions like we have to uh, pass the test cases on okay. it we were yeah okay. And uh, since you mentioned different, different topics like machine learning and other uh, Python and all the other topics. So from where you uh, prepared uh, the MCQs of those topics? Uh, 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 MCQ on uh, like the technical topics uh, you are saying? Yeah, like uh, in the online assessment, you mentioned it. There, there were some uh, questions from those topics, technical uh, topics. So mm -hmm. those questions from where you like you did prepare those questions? Um, okay, so uh, like when I started preparing for those uh, uh, the skills SQL and Python, so a friend of mine was also preparing for the same thing. So uh, he was going through some courses on Udemy, so he shared it to me. So I started preparing from that only. And uh, some other things like uh, Excel, DBMS, Power BI, I learned all of these things from YouTube only. Then some of it Python and SQL also from YouTube and then practice questions on hacker rank and um, yeah, other things. So this was all the uh, preparation for me on all these technical skills. 
okay okay so you uh, like elaborately uh, talked about the online assessment now can you please elaborate about your experience of technical rounds okay so uh, in the interviews they were pretty good intermediate level only mm -hmm. uh, uh, there were no puzzles or guesstimates questions asked to me specifically but there was a friend of mine who was also giving the interview so he was being asked about puzzles and guesstimates Although I prepared puzzles and guesstimates from YouTube and uh, Geeks for Geeks because it's a good source for it. So, uh, then uh, uh, they asked about my projects and uh, uh, then they gave me some uh, uh, hands-on questions. They asked me some technical questions also, like what, like the basic questions on all on almost every skill that I mentioned in my resume. And uh, uh, what I learned from the hands-on questions was that even if uh, your queries and your code is not entirely correct, and uh, even if there is some syntactical mistakes, uh, or even if not complete, if you are not able to complete the code or move forward to it, they are more aligned to ch uh, check how well do you approach the problem, how well do you approach to solve a problem. Mm -hmm. So even like the same with the puzzles and guesstimates also, because uh, roles in analytics they are all about answering uh, business of business questions and uh, solving problems, solving the business problems. So by checking your approach to a particular problem, they evaluate your uh, problem solving skills. Yeah, so your approach to a problem should be good. So that was more important and it mattered more to them. Okay, so for how long it was the technical round was for you? Yeah, so uh, the first technical round, it uh, was, uh, it, it, it gone up to around 35 minutes for the first technical round. And the second technical round got stretched, got stretched up a little bit. So it, it stretched up to around one hour, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So discussion between you and the interviewer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So after that, you got your uh, offer letter or there, uh, was there any other round also? No, uh, I uh, expected uh, to, I expected HR round to be held after this, but there was no HR round after it. But yeah, they, uh, in both the technical rounds, uh, they asked some. They asked did did ask questions like uh, being from a core background, like I was from mechanical engineering. So why do you want to be in data science, okay. and why do you think that it's it's a good field for you to choose? So yeah, if one is sitting one if one is sitting for the uh, interview, who's uh, especially from the core background, <laughs> sorry, uh, he or she should uh, know and uh, prepare this kind of question because they may ask uh, like this. So yeah. This is, uh, then I asked them questions at the end, like about their working, about their operations and other verticals and different practices. So, yeah. okay. so now, uh, since you are working in Tradence for last one year, so what year, what, what's your experience? Uh, my experience has been quite good. Like, uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, like when, like the, le the learning part uh, in the Tradence is very good there. Like when, when you join Tradence as a fresher, then, uh, they do not just put you up in the directly to the job and the work. They train you specifically for the job, and the learning is very good there. Like, like it's a it's a very uh, good. There's a, there's a good learning curve uh, in the company. You get to learn many things. Uh, how do you approach a problem? How do you think on the problem? What uh, tools you want to? Use? How do you use the tools? Like they teach you everything, and you get to learn many many things in there, and you uh, get a variety of projects to work on. Yeah, so it's quite good there. Okay, so for the for the students of twenty twenty four and uh, twenty twenty five or other uh, juniors also, so from your experience, what do you want to uh, give a tip to them? How should they prepare for trades and what uh, should they expect from the company? Okay, so, uh, okay, this is this this will not just be for trades. This will be for any other company placement. So I would want to say that uh, whenever sitting for placement for any company, may it be Tradence or any other company. So first of all, you should get to know about the company, like what uh, what the company's work, uh, work has been working on and uh, other things as well. Then uh, uh, whatever job description they provide, go through the job description very carefully because, and, uh, because, and uh, get to know and understand what is being required of you. And according to the job description, try to include skills and projects which are more relevant uh, to the uh, role. Like, like if there is a role of data science, uh, like uh, as in, in as of mine, or data analyst maybe, 
So there is a need of skills like Python, SQL, Power BI, and uh, MS environment of uh, skills like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? So yeah, so whenever you go through a job description, try to get to know what are the relevant skills required and uh, try to add those only. And uh, uh, like what some people used to do is that they make their resume once only and they keep applying for different roles using their one resume only. So it might reduce your chance of getting selected. So you should always keep changing and updating your resume according to the roles and add relevant skills. And it's all right if you don't know every skill and skills up to a high level because the recruiters don't expect you to know everything, but uh, you should have a good grasp and understanding of at least basic level knowledge on the things that you are mentioning in the resume and which uh, proves to be more relevant to the role. Yeah. And uh, uh, don't try to fake anything in yeah. resume or in front of the uh, interviewer because even if you're including something in your skills which is not relevant to the role, include only if you are if you can defend yourself on that skill uh, or, or if you if, if you can defend on the question being asked to you uh, some people may tend to do, do this because of the high competition and they might want to stand out among the uh, other people so yeah that's also because uh, like say if in the interview you ask a question on some skill on a resume which is not relevant to the role and something which you don't feel confident about to mm -hmm. answer it may create a bad impression on the interviewer okay. which you don't want that. yes yeah so this is all what my experience is yeah yeah and i i would say it was a it was a great tip for the juniors out there so thank you Samrit. thank you for being with us and coming to our channel it was great talking to you and hope you have a great future ahead thank you for having me here and i hope my experience may be of some help to juniors sitting for tedens or any other companies <laughs>